Yo, what is going on guys? It is Get Scared here, bringing you guys some more advanced warfare gameplay here today. And today I'm bringing you guys a pretty sweet class setup slash playstyle video. And I know it's kind of late in the game's life cycle to be talking about like tip videos and stuff, but I figured I'd bring it to you guys anyway because I feel like it's a pretty unique sort of playstyle slash class. And I've never really seen anyone else do a video on it, much less even play like this really, so... I thought I'd talk about it anyway. I did do a video like this uh, for Black Ops 2 actually, like a sort of same class video. Uh, basically the premise behind it is to get specialist bonus, uh, like the one from Modern Warfare 3 or I guess Ghost, even though that one wasn't as good, in Advanced Warfare. And obviously since specialist bonus is not in this game, you can't really do it like legitimately, but um, there's sort of like class setups you can do and ways, ways you can run your perks and stuff that will kind of get you as close as possible to that specialist bonus feeling, so that's what I try and mimic in this gameplay. And um, I call this class the Scavenger, because basically you're going to be picking up weapons from the ground. That's sort of the whole idea behind it, is to get more for your pick 13 system. So basically, uh, the actual class, I have six perks, I loaded up on perks, I have low profile and lightweight and tier 1. Uh, tier 2 is Blind Eye and Fast Hands, and Tier 3 is um, Blast Suppressor, and I put Hardline, but I know a lot of people like using Toughness in this game, so use that if you want to. I just don't feel the need to run Toughness, I've never really felt like I needed to, I guess, um, so I don't. I just choose to run Hardline just to get my streaks a little bit easier. And then I put on 3 streaks, uh, UAV and System Hack, just for that non-lethal uh, feeling of running the specialist and also just the bombing run because I had an extra point and in my opinion the bombing run is pretty uh, a pretty solid kill streak. I didn't want to go anything over um, the system hack like I didn't want to put on a warbird because that would just make it like more points to get and uh, you wouldn't get your non-lethals as much so the bombing run is uh, just a little bit less points than the system hack because I put extra assist points on the system hack as well. So yeah that's basically the idea behind that. And like I said, the perks, they are up to you largely. These are just my personal favorite perks. Like I said, toughness is a very popular perk in this game, so likely you'll want to run that instead. And um, then I, obviously you have one perk left over for a gun, and I, you don't necessarily have to do a gun as well, um, but I think it makes it a lot easier. Obviously you could just do a knife and maybe like throw on something like um, XO Overclock or an XO Ability or even a grenade, but I, I find those are kind of not as useful because they just kind of like run out, you use them once and they're gone. Whereas if you start off with a gun, it does make it a lot easier because if you if you try and start off with a knife, you find yourself just trying to run up to people and run in the middle of the map, grab a gun. Whereas if you start off with yourself a gun, then you can actually just like sort of, you don't have to be as aggressive and try and get yourself a gun as fast. You can kind of just like let it happen uh, naturally. So basically, you want to do it safely so as to not die. This class is sort of meant to like go on long streaks, I guess. And yeah, you basically just want to pick up a gun that you find on the ground, and uh, preferably a good gun. I managed to get this IMR with a built-in silencer and adjustable stock, and it might have had um, another one on it, and I also picked up a speakeasy. So basically, that's sort of the equivalent of running overkill and then having like two or three attachments on both your guns. So that's like almost uh, 17 points combined with all my perks and stuff. So basically the whole idea behind this class is to just take advantage of the pick 13 system and try and get as many points as possible just by picking up other people's weapons. You'll, you'll just basically be able to actually maximize your points. And I know some people might say, might disagree and say like this isn't a good strategy at all because you don't know what you're going to get. But realistically, there's a lot of good weapons on the ground in this game. Like, literally so many people run the speakeasy, so many people run the obsidian stage, you're always gonna usually find those. Like, I picked up speakeasies uh, throughout this game, as well as some obsidian steeds. I also got this IMR, which is, I guess, a little bit worse than those guns, but it's still a pretty solid gun. Um, anyways, back to the actual gun I started out with. Obviously, you can choose whichever gun you want to start out with. I just personally chose the finger trap just because it's actually, it doesn't have any negatives technically because the only negative it has is you can't put on any attachments, but I didn't even have room for attachments anyway, so I just figured why not use it and just take advantage of that. But I mean, obviously you could use whatever to get your first kill and then pick up a better weapon that actually has attachments or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically this class is pretty effective and uh, I was using it for pretty much all day uh, yesterday. Um, I did run into many sort of harder lobbies. I actually just 
went into the golden prestiges, so I wasn't having like a ton of really great gameplays, but I'm just going to mostly blame that on skill-based matchmaking, honestly. But I did get this game, and, and this game was pretty good, and, and a few others as well, where I just had some really like good moments where I went on like some nice tears, uh, got like a relentless medal a few times, and ruthless medals and whatever. Uh, so it is a very good class. I highly recommend checking it out. Like I said with the perks, uh, you are free to do what you want with those. You can edit them. Uh, let me know if you do take this class and change it up, uh, what you do with it. Maybe you'll make it better. Maybe it'll actually uh, be more effective with what you do with it. I did actually try a few other uh, variants of it as well. Like I said, the one without the, the starting gun, you can just start with a knife. But I, like I said, I don't think that really works very well. I also tried one where I uh, I didn't actually put on fast hands. Instead, I put on uh, just an extra score streak and went with four score streaks. But honestly, I don't think that's the way to go. I feel fast hands really does help you a lot because it does actually allow you to pick up weapons faster and obviously cycle between your weapons faster, which is pretty useful. And you can even reload while sprinting too, which is something I often forget to do just because I'm not really used to doing that since it, this is like the first COD that lets you do that. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button below. And uh, in the next few weeks, I'm actually going to be trying to do some more live commentaries actually on Black Ops 2 to get ready for the Black Ops 3 beta. Road to Black Ops 3 or something like that, I might call it or something. But uh, I don't know how many videos I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to try and do as many as possible though, so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys have a great day. Peace. Basically.